In this video, we're going to explore what happens if you kill Ogryn during Dragon Age Origins. I'll show you how to set up this fatal scenario, as well as what happens during the Awakening expansion, since he is typically a companion during that campaign. Keep watching to see it all. What's up everyone? Big Dan here. I make videos about RPGs like Mass Effect and Dragon Age. I explore hidden dialogue, rare choices, as well as lore and guides. So if you like old school Bioware games, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's dive right in. One of the craziest things about Dragon Age Origins is that you can kill off almost all your companions throughout the course of the game. Bioware gives the player ample opportunities to be an evil bastard in both deeds and words. While most players won't explore these options on their own, because being mean makes most of us feel crappy, it's interesting that the options are there nonetheless. So let's see what happens if we kill one of our companions, the beloved drunken dwarven berserker Ogryn. If your reputation with Ogryn reaches negative 100, then you can provoke him into attacking the warden in the party camp. Losing reputation points with Ogryn is relatively simple, especially if you have the Feast Day Gifts and Pranks DLC pack, which is included in Dragon Age Origins Ultimate Edition. The pack includes gifts for every companion that will instantly raise their reputation by 50 points, as well as a prank gift that will remove 50 points. These gifts can be acquired for free from Bodain, the dwarven merchant in your party camp. For Ogryn, if you give him the Scented Soap prank gift, you will instantly lose 50 points in reputation. <laughs> as if I needed that. You can also give him lumps of coal as well to remove even more reputation points. Once you reach negative 100, speak to him in the party camp and he'll tell you that he's sick of your shit. Choosing the dialogue option, if you're scared of the darkspawn, you can just say it, causes him to attack you. That's it. I've had it. If saving the surface means working for someone like you, I say let the sodding world burn! Oh, you've a real mouth on you, huh? Lift your weapon, Warden, and pray for a painless death! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Ogryn hits like a truck. I was playing as a mage and he could kill me in two to three hits, and this was on easy. If you're planning to do this, it's best to remove all of his equipment before starting the conversation. Even so, I had to run around like a madman and stun lock him constantly to prevent him from killing me. for some fun. No, no, I'm done. Excellent. This should be easy enough. Afterwards, Ogryn is no longer available as a companion, his body disintegrating into dust and bones right before our very eyes. Now you may be wondering, Ogryn was also a companion in Dragon Age Origins Awakening DLC, so what happens if you import your save into that campaign? Well, as you explore Vigil's Keep, clearing away the darkspawn as you go, you'll be surprised to find that Ogryn is alive and well. <laughs> This isn't just a glitch or an oversight either. You can actually ask him about it by choosing the newly unlocked unique dialogue option, Aren't you dead, dwarf? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. <laughs> when these dark spawns showed up, I thought, just you wait until the new commander gets here and you'll all be spitting teeth out of your arses. Followed the screaming, and sure enough, here you are. Good on ya.
What? That's no way to greet an old friend. Art I dead indeed? Hey, wait a minute. A few months ago, I woke up with a splitting headache without a shred of clothing to cover my glory. Couldn't remember a thing. Thought, hey, it must be Tuesday. <laughs> but it was you. You tried to kill me. <laughs> nice try. Didn't stick. Came here thinking I might try my hand at becoming a bona fide Grey Warden. A headache? A headache? Ogren, I watched you disintegrate into a pile of bones. How is this possible? The more I play Dragon Age, the more I realize it's kind of like a soap opera. Characters get killed off and brought back to life willy-nilly with just a hand wave and a shrug from the writers. Ogren is far from the only one to get this kind of treatment in the series. I guess the Lazarus Project is busy in Thedas as well. So there you have it. What happens if you kill Ogren in Dragon Age Origins? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Dragon Age and Mass Effect videos. I also recently created an Instagram account to post memes and the like, so go follow me at Big Dan Gaming. Now I usually say I should go at the end of these videos, but that's a Mass Effect thing, so maybe I should say something else at the end of my Dragon Age videos. I saw this suggestion from Brian Sadler on my Morrigan video, so let's try it out now. Until next time, this has been Big Dan, and remember, swooping is bad.